Something a man has to think about in my position from time to time. Things like trust. Now, is that something to be valued? Or something to be taken lightly? Ego. A gift. Come on. Take the gun. I've done this a hundred times before. <laughs> now, Danny boy, this puzzles me. Because you knew this would happen all along. I have a reputation to uphold. As you can see, I was working out a little frustration on the problem I had earlier, and it dawned on me. This is not my problem. It's yours. Shoot him. You either shoot him, or I'm gonna shoot you. Sorry, Tom. You think it's that simple, man? Huh? What you think you're gonna do? Just gonna walk up in there, hey, Mr. Sir, I'm finished paying you. This shit don't work like that, Tommy. How many times I gotta tell you? Come on, man. We all know who you work for. That corrupt piece of shit. And you come around here taking money from our friends, the people we know, our whole lives? And you come in here? Taking money from me? And what, Tom? We were like brothers. We were like brothers, Tommy? Nigga, you coming in here taking my money? Okay. We were, huh? Tell you what, happy birthday. Oh, I believe this is yours. Hey, Daniel. So you funny, huh? Sheriff? Enjoy.
I know you're angry, Tommy. But what are you gonna do? Daniel works for Bear. There's no way that he's I gonna know help us. He works for Bear, right? I know. I was there. You were there. So what are you gonna do? You say you need to talk to me, so talk. It's like this. It's... What the hell? Time to muff again, huh? My class work. That's it, man. Bad square now. Yeah. Yeah, not too soon either. Maybe not soon enough, huh? That's it, Daniel. See you next month. Speak to the mayor. Be busy. I need to see Ben now. You come waltzing in my place with no regard for your wife, no regard for your family, and just tell me you quit just like that? Now that takes balls. Real balls. What'd he say? He told you, right? Look, man. Last month was it, pal. I'm done. All right, last month was it. Look, that's not my problem. Hey, you got a problem, hey. you need to take it up with Barry. Hey, Daniel, oh. fuck. You, okay? It is your problem, pal. I'm not paying you, okay? You hear me? Daddy was a good man. My father died before his time, but you know how that goes. Mm -hmm. Shut up. James Henderson? Thomas Henderson. Ten thousand dollars. That's bullshit. I inherited the building, not his debt. You know it's funny how time flies, Tommy. Because I recollect having this very conversation with you four years ago. What was that? Uh -oh. I asked for the money. <laughs> Tommy, I'm always looking for some good help. I've been thinking, I'm gonna open up a little gambling spot, you know? Nothing too fancy, just a little place to run a few card games and 
blackjack, some roulette. Who knows, maybe you can get a slot machine up in there too. Hey, you play nice. I cut you in for 30%. I'm not helping you do anything. Hey, he's an honest man, Tommy, that's for sure. Not too bright, but you're an honest man. <laughs> well, can't make you do what you don't want to do now, can I? So we're good here? Sure thing, Tommy, we're good. You can leave. Sounds crazy. But if we want to get out, that's what we're going to have to do. So let me get this straight. I'm supposed to go running around town looking for what may or may not be a hole filled with money? Why are you going to get yourself caught by Daniel or Bear? Basically. Yo, that situation from early, you don't have to worry about that no more. I took care of it for you. Money ain't around town. It's in the graveyard. Tommy? You're crazy. Well, we got ourselves another little problem. Who is it? It's Tommy. Listen, just do what I tell you to do. And everything will work out fine. Now, Daniel, you know I don't like Trump. So I don't care how you do it. You just make sure that boy disappears before sunrise. Nice take. What was that? Well, what was it? Man, I've been telling you for weeks now. I'm done. I can't afford to keep paying that man my hard-earned money. Well, you got no idea what you just did, man. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Apparently you don't. You just told a man who owns this whole town to basically go fuck himself. I'm gonna need for you to get grace. Just pack a couple bags and just get out of town for a while, man. No. I ain't running from bed. And I ain't running from you. I mean, can't you see I'm dying here, man? The whole town is. And who comes and collect my money? You do. We've been friends since the second grade. I put you up when you came back from the war. I gave you a place to stay. I gave you a job, not bad, me. Tommy, one minute, man. Don't think that I don't appreciate what you did for me. Because I do. I honestly do. But what was I supposed to do, huh? What was I supposed to do? I mean, hell, you could barely afford to pay me, man. And wasn't nobody else lining up to hire some poor black boy with a high school diploma? And what? Five years of killing us experience? Best stepped up. And that's that, Tommy. And I'm asking you, man. I'm telling you. Get grace and get out of town. Look at you, man. 
You so far gone, you don't even know who your friends are. You done sold your soul to the devil. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Tonight, Tommy. Leave tonight. Get off my yard. Leave tonight. Come on, man. You bad now? Seems like the only thing that I'm good at is hurting people. That's the only thing I'm good at.
Oh, shit. You awake now? Good. Where's Tommy? What? Where's my husband? What? Grace. I don't know. I thought I killed him. I was coming back over here to apologize to you as bad as that sounds. No, you ain't kill him. Not for the lack of trying. Now tell me, where is he? I, I don't know. I ain't think, Grace. Damn. Why would I be coming over here to bring you some money if I knew where your husband was? You talking about this? This money? We don't need your dirty money. God is my witness. If I knew where your husband was at, I would tell you, I do not know. All right? I don't know. Bear took him. He came over right after you left. Oh. Tom is alive? Are you not listening to me? Bear took him. I mean, what, do you know something? Just wait, wait a minute. Just let me think. Just let me think. I'll get him back. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get him, okay? Well, for what? So you can try to kill him again? <laughs> no, we both gonna get him. Now wait. Now I know this gonna sound like a stretch to you, but you need to hear me out. Now where they're taking Tommy, you don't wanna go, all right? And if we show up together, I mean, hell, they'll probably shoot the both of us. So what am I supposed to do? Just sit here and wait? I asked you to wait, but you wait. No. Trust me on this one. Please just trust me on this one, all right? I'll get Tommy and I'll bring him back. I can't do this by myself. I'm gonna bring your husband back. Daniel, this shit ain't over. Because if you don't bring my husband back, I'm gonna kill you. Not fair. I'm gonna kill you. Bring him back. Take your hat. Daniel. Just the guy I wanted to see. Where you been? I thought you skipped town on me or something. What the hell happened here? Nothing, man. Just got caught up in something, that's all. Yeah, well, you should have been here. Come on, something I want to show you. Come on, Danny. You know, Danny, there's things I've been thinking about from time to time. Things a man in my position has to consider. Like trust. Is it something of value or something to be taken lightly? Or respect? Now, when a man don't pay the debt he owe, is that not the ultimate sign of disrespect? Tell me, Danny boy, what would you do in this situation? Give us a minute, will you? Never mind all that. Here you go, a gift. Come on. Take the gun. We've done this a hundred times before. Now, Danny boy, this puzzles me. Because you knew this would happen all along. I have a reputation to uphold. Now, supposing I just relieve old Tommy boy here of his debt, 
Rocky Ward gets around town, and everybody's gonna want relief. And then pretty soon, old Bear's had a whole lot of money. And that ain't just gonna happen. Man, think about it, man. We ain't gotta do this. I'm pretty sure we can figure another way out around this. As you can see, I was working out a little frustration of the problem I had earlier, but then it dawned on me. This is not my problem. This is yours. So, Danny, I need you to do a little favor for me. Take care of a little problem for me. Shoot him. So this how it is, huh? After three years of doing your shit, this how it is? Danny boy, I ain't got no time for redemption stories. Either you gonna do it or not. No. You shoot him, or I'll shoot you. Stand, Danny boy. See, like my daddy always said, you want to get something done right, you got to do it yourself. Stop, man! Get off me! I suggest you get out of town. I don't think the people are gonna be too happy to see you. Unless they find out Bear's dead. Gotta leave town for a while. Some things I gotta handle. So I guess what I gave you wasn't enough, huh? Where's my husband? Grace, let me explain. You told me you would come back with my husband. Grace, listen, let me explain. He's alive. Tommy told me you would kill him before you killed Bear. I should have put you down at the house. Listen to me, Grace. He's alive, all right? Liar! He's alive, but you got him. Shut up! He's not the same, Grace. He was your friend. Your brother. <laughs> 
Grace, listen to what I am saying, all right? Tommy is alive. Bye, Daniel. Grace, wait. It's not working. Tommy. Tell me I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm sorry too, man. Tommy! 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 